Item cross-references can be used to associate a customer or vendor item number with the company's own internal number. Today, I will show you how to set up item cross-references. To begin, we'll go to our item list and we'll navigate to our item, which for this demonstration will be 1896-S. And from the ribbon, we go to navigate item cross-references. For this example, we'll be setting up a customer cross-reference. However, the options blank, vendor, and barcode are also available. In the cross-reference type number, we will enter the customer number. Similarly, if we were using vendors, we would enter the vendor number. Our customer this time will be customer 10,000, the Canon Group. We then specify a cross-reference number, which will be for the customer's reference number. For now, this will be as follows. Next, we enter our unit of measure, which will be pieces. And in the description will be the description that our customer uses. There's also a field here called discontinue barcode. This applies to cross-reference types of barcode for when that particular code is no longer valid. When we're done, we can close the page. And our next step is to use the cross-reference that we've set up. To do this, we'll create a new sales order. And this will be for the customer we specified earlier, the Canon Group. The cross-reference number field may not automatically be visible in your sales lines. So we'll need to add them using the personalized function found in the settings cog at the top here. We select more plus field. Make sure we have the line selected, which will show us a wider range. And from here, we select our cross-reference number. And we can add this in. Once we're happy with where it's located, we can select done. And it's available for us to use. Back to the order, we select our type of item. And in the cross-reference number field, we'll select the drop-down to open the list of cross-references and select the one that we have set up for this customer. You'll notice that by selecting it, it's automatically populated the item details. Our customer would like 10 of this desk. And finally, to view the changes that the cross-reference has made, we'll preview the order confirmation by going to print send at the top here, selecting print confirmation and preview. We can see that our internal item number is still in use, but the description is updated to reflect that which we set up in the cross-reference entry.